Hey, Math 30-2s, let's finish off the notes for Lesson 3 on Venn Diagrams. So we got to Example 4. All right. Uh, let's just have a quick look at this note. Venn Diagrams can also be used to represent the number of elements in each set, and not just the individual elements. The numbers in the sets are not marked with dots, since they do not represent individual elements. So Example 4. The diagram displays the number of students who are members of the Students' Council and the number of students who are on the Yearbook Committee. How many students are on the Students' Council? Well, that would be 12 plus 3. 12 plus 3, or 15 students, are inside that S circle, the Student Council. All right. How many students are on both Student Council and Yearbook Committee? Both the Student Council and the Yearbook Committee, that would be the intersection of the two, so that would be three. How many students are on the Yearbook Committee but not on the Students' Council? So that would just be the number seven, only Yearbook Committee. And how many students are on Students' Council or the Yearbook Committee? Well, we would add all those up. 12 plus 3 plus 7, that'd be the union of those three circles, so that'd be 22. Looking at example 5, in the homeroom of 20 students, 15 take math, 12 take social, 10 take math and social. Show this information in the Venn diagram and then answer the question, how many students take neither math nor social? So we want one circle for math, we want another circle for social, and then we've got our classroom of 20 students. So what do we know for sure? We know that 10 take math and social. Math and social, the intersection of math and social is 10. We know 15 take math. Well, I've already got 10 in the math circle, so I need another 5. There are now 15 people in the math circle. And 12 take social. There's already 10 in the social circle, so 2 more make a total of 12 in the social circle. So if I look at the idea that there are 20 students in the home room, there are a total between math and social. If I add up those 5, 10, and 2, we get 17. So the number that are not taking math or social should be three outside. So we can now answer this question. How many students take neither math nor social? Three students. Take neither math nor social. All right. One more example, and we're completed, we've completed this lesson, so let's look at example six. In a survey of 400 households, 285 had personal video recorders and 320 had multifunction printers. 63 households did not have a PVR or an MFP. Let P represent the house, set of households which have a personal video recorder. Let M represent the set of households which have a multifunction printer. And we're going to let X represent the number of households that have both. So the ones that have both, that would be AND, a PVR, AND, intersect MFP. So there's our X. So we mark X in the appropriate spot. Beautiful, the intersection. And mark 63 in the appropriate spot because 63 don't have any. So 63 would go outside the circles somewhere inside the rectangle, anywhere you want. Part B, write an expression for the number of households who have a personal video recorder and not a multifunction printer. So an expression for that. We know 285 people had a personal video recorder, 285. But how many do not have a multifunction printer well, the X is the intersection of those, so we have to subtract the X. So where does that go in the Venn diagram? That goes right here. 285, subtract the X. 
part C, write an expression for the number of households who have a multifunction printer, but not a personal video recorder. So we were told that 320 people had a multifunction printer. So 320 will be the total of people in the multifunction printer circle. We have to subtract from that the ones that also have a personal video recorder. So in our Venn diagram, 320 minus X would go in that part. Part D says form an equation in terms of X and determine the number of households in the survey who had both a multifunction printer and a personal video recorder. So we're told there are 400 households, 400 households. So that must equal 63 have none. 63 is outside. Then we add up the circles. So we could do this a couple ways. We could just add all that up. 285 minus x plus the intersection, which is x, and plus the 320 minus x. So all those blue things have to add up to 400. So that's one equation. Let's now solve this equation for x. So on the left side, 400 equals 63 plus 285 plus 320. That gives us 668 minus x plus x minus x is a minus x. All right. So we could do this a couple ways. I'm going to subtract 668 from both sides. So that gives me a minus 268 equals negative x. Or positive 268 equals positive x. So the number of households that have both an MV, MFP and the PVR, so the intersection. Our X is 268. Awesome. All right. So you guys have your assignment. Get after it.